Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a meal plan for maximum weight loss. These are the most highly requested videos that I have ever made and I'm excited to start making them for you guys again. We're still in the tiny house at this point. Um, our countertops are being installed today and then we just have to wait on our fridge, our new fridge, because our fridge was not fixable. So it might be a while, but we can still make these videos in here. For anyone new, these meal plans follow the principles of calorie density. So we are going to be eating all whole plant foods here in abundance, which includes all your vegetables, fruits, beans, legumes, potatoes, rice, oats, whole starches, a little bit of tofu in some of them, not in this one, um, and a little bit of avocado, which we got some avocado in this video for you guys. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I'll be making these a few times every month, probably. I'm gonna try for every week, just because it's really easy, because I eat this way, so it's easy for me to film what I'm eating and just give you guys inspiration for these meal plans. Um, but all of the recipes and links will be in the description box for you guys, and let's jump into it. All right, so for breakfast today, we're gonna make some chocolate peanut butter oats. The first thing we're gonna need is a banana. And I'm just gonna cut this in half. We're gonna take half of it and mash it into this bowl. And this is just going to make our oats a little bit sweeter without using any sugar or anything like that. All right, I have instant oats here. These are the preferred oats that I like to use because they're super simple to make. They only take a few minutes. We're gonna use one cup of these. And then to this, we're gonna add a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter. Also have a tablespoon of cacao powder or cocoa powder, doesn't really matter. And then I like to add a few drops of stevia just to give it like a nice vanilla flavor. It also helps to just make it a little bit sweeter. So I usually do like half of a dropper full. So we'll just mix up the dry ingredients a little bit. And then we're going to add in a cup of hot water. This makes the oats pretty thick. If you like them a little bit thinner, you can use more water. I usually don't even add all of it in at once because I like my oats really, really thick. So just kind of add it in and then see if I need more. You'll just want to mix this up really good because of all the powders and stuff that we put in here. So that's kind of how thick I like it. It's pretty thick because I like to add soy milk to this. So I will usually just add a splash or two of soy milk and it just kind of helps make the oats a lot creamier. You can mix that in as well. And then lastly, all we're gonna do is top this with the sliced banana. If you wanna make this really fancy looking, you can add a little bit of PB2 on top. And that's it. All right, so for lunch, we're gonna be making avocado sushi rolls. Now, you will want your rice to sit out for a little bit. This is about a cup and a half of rice, and you just want it to sit out because if it's too hot, it will tear the nori. If you want your rice to have a little bit more flavor, like they do in the restaurants, you can add a little bit of seasoned rice vinegar. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit, and then you can just mix that up. So all I have here is a julienned cucumber. I just used this little julienne peeler. I can link it below for you guys. And then I'm gonna use half of an avocado. So I'm just gonna kind of move this stuff around. This is the nori that I use. I can also link this below. It's my favorite kind. It's the only one that I found that really doesn't taste like fishy at all. So we're gonna need two sheets of this but we'll start by making one at a time, obviously. So we're just gonna take half of our rice and put it over the sheet. I just kind of like to put it in the middle and then spread it out along the whole sheet. 
I feel like this makes the best sushi roll when you spread it out like this because you get the rice over the entire sheet of nori. You can take half of our cucumber and just lay it down in the middle. And then for slicing the avocado, you just want to slice it into little strips like this. And we're just going to use half for each side. Okay, so to roll this, you just want to get your fingers a little bit wet and just wet the end of the nori like this. And then I don't use a sushi mat or anything. I feel like it's just really easy to just basically wrap the first layer around all the vegetables and kind of pull back on it like this and then just tightly roll it the rest of the way. And then you're just going to want it sit, have it sit on the seam until you're ready to cut it. All right, so we can go ahead and make the next one. We're just gonna use the rest of our rice, do the same exact thing. So with these sushi rolls, you could put carrots in here or sweet potato is really good. Even tofu inside of these is really good if you like marinate it in a little bit of teriyaki sauce or something like that. It's super delicious. And then you get some extra protein. You can put bell peppers in here, um, bean shoots, all kinds of stuff. So just get really creative with it. Mango is also really good. Like mango, avocado, cucumbers, delicious. Sometimes I get a little bit creative if I have a bunch of different veggies on hand, but usually I just make cucumber avocado rolls. The rest of our avocado in here. And we'll just do the same exact thing. So you wanna roll it over the first time and squeeze all the veggies kind of back in and then just roll it up like this. So the biggest thing with cutting these is you wanna make sure that you have a sharp knife and also it can help to get the knife wet. So I'm just gonna get this knife a little bit wet and then all we're gonna do is just cut down the middle and then just cut separate pieces. And you'll wanna wet your knife every few cuts because it does get like sticky from the rice. So I usually just cut half the sushi and then I'll go back and I'll wet my knife again. Once that is all cut up, we can just put it into a bowl. I'm gonna set this aside. So for lunch and dinner, I suggest eating your meals with a side of vegetables. And what I like to do is I'll just get my Instant Pot out. I have some bok choy here that I had in the fridge. I just washed it really quick. I'm just gonna tear this in half and throw it in there with a little bit of water. I'm just gonna steam this for a couple minutes. All right, so this has been steaming for a little bit. I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder into here for some flavor. Just let it cook off the rest of the water that's in there. All right, so this is done. Add this onto my plate. And then I'm also just going to add some carrots on the side. These are just raw. I really love raw carrots, but you could cook them as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is some spicy kimchi on top of the bok choy. There is our lunch. I'm gonna have my sushi with some soy sauce. I just like to use the Sanjay brand. Also going to add some sesame seeds on top. People see this amount of food and they think I could never eat that way and lose weight, but this is only about 500 calories for this entire meal. So it's a lot of food. You can eat a lot of food and lose weight. That is the point of the whole thing with calorie density is how much food you can eat and lose weight. You'll be very full, very satisfied, and it's just the best way to go. So if you get hungry in between meals, feel free to have some fresh fruit. Fruit is literally the best snack that you can have. It comes in its own package. It is 300 calories per pound, so it's very low in calorie density, right behind vegetables. It is packed full of nutrients, fiber, water, and you can basically take it absolutely anywhere with you. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have a chili bowl with sweet potatoes and rice, but I'm gonna get the veggies started first. So I have these two zucchini and yellow squash and I'm just going to chop them up 
and toss them in a little bit of nutritional yeast and garlic salt and then air fry them while the chili heats up. So I'll air fry them at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. So just put these into a big bowl. To add our garlic salt and then some nutritional yeast. So you just toss this really quickly. And this just makes a really good side dish. Zucchini is super filling and it's one of my favorite vegetables to eat because it's you can really flavor it any way you want. It's kind of like tofu. So I am just probably gonna have this with a little bit of hot sauce on it. I really like it that way. I'm gonna spread this out into the air fryer and throw it in there for a bit. So while the zucchini is cooking, we're going to make our bowl. So this chili I pre-cooked I meal prepped it the other day and I just wanted to show you guys how to kind of bulk prep things so that you can easily throw together dinners. So I bulk prepped this bean chili. I will link the recipe down below. It's on my website. I'm just going to let it heat up for a little bit longer. And then I also batch cooked a bunch of sweet potatoes and pretty much every day I cook rice. So we're going to put this all together. So I have about a cup of rice here. I'm gonna add my sweet potatoes over here and then I'm just gonna add a bunch of spinach in here as well because I have a whole massive box and you can never have too many greens. And then we're just gonna add our chili on top. And it'll kind of wilt the greens and make everything come together. So the sweet potato, like I said, I pre-cooked a whole bag of sweet potatoes in my air fryer on 400 degrees for 45 minutes and you just cook them whole and then you can just chop them up and put them in your fridge and then you have a delicious cook starch to add to meals like this all right so the zucchini is done i'm just gonna put it in this bowl and like i said i'm just gonna add a little bit of this hot sauce to the zucchini So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Stay tuned, like I said, there will be many, many more. I think the next video that I'm gonna be making is gonna be the full kitchen tour of our new house. So stay tuned for that. And if you like these videos, make sure to give this a thumbs up. And again, check out all of the recipes and ingredients and everything down in the description box. Also, if you need more help on your weight loss journey, I do have a free weight loss cheat sheet that is available in the description box below. It's free, it has a free meal plan in there. I also have my best-selling weight loss guide, Lean and Clean, that has a meal plan in there, plus all of the information that you could possibly need to start losing weight on a plant-based diet, so make sure to check that out as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.